The 2 gig flood and temperature sensor is designed to alert homeowners when floods or temperature extremes occur. The following video will demonstrate how the flood and temperature sensor works, how alarms are triggered, and how to silence alarms. Flood and temperature sensors are placed in areas such as sump pumps, water heaters, basements, and other areas where flooding commonly occurs. The sensor constantly monitors the area to look for the presence of water or changes in temperature lasting longer than three minutes. The sensor consists of a flood probe and a transmitter with an integral temperature sensor. If the sensor's probe detects the presence of water for three minutes, the sensor will notify the security panel of the new conditions. The sensor's transmitter will monitor the ambient temperature of the area. If the temperature exceeds 95 degrees Fahrenheit or goes below 41 degrees Fahrenheit for three minutes, the sensor will notify the panel of the temperature change. If your sensor is programmed to trigger an audible alarm anytime floods or temperature extremes occur, the panel's siren will sound. If this sensor was programmed to be professionally monitored, you'll get a call from Central Monitoring Station. And if your Alarm.com account is programmed to alert you when this sensor is triggered, you will get a notification on your phone. You'll want to immediately check the area. Examine the area around the sensor's probe and look for any water leaks or floods. You'll also want to see if the temperature in the area is above 95 degrees Fahrenheit or goes below 41 degrees. Address any urgent issues as needed. Note, look for any open doors or windows, as this can sometimes cause temperature extremes in the area. If you don't see any water around the probe and if the temperature is within the 41 to 95 degree range, contact your installation professional for assistance. As mentioned earlier, if your panel is programmed to go into an audible alarm state, when your flood and temperature sensor detects water or temperature extremes, the siren on your panel will sound. Use your panel's on-screen keypad to enter your user code, and then clear the alarm to silence the siren. If you are not sure how to clear alarms on your panel, see our other training videos for detailed instructions. Note, if you clear the alarm, but the water leak, flood, or temperature extremes are still present in the area, your alarm will be in a not ready to arm state and show the detector as open. Your panel will continue to show the detector as open until the water and temperature extremes disappear. Also note, depending on customer or installer preference, your water leak detector may only be programmed as a notification detector. If this is the case and water leaks, floods, or temperature extremes occur, you may just hear a quick one-time chime or get an Alarm.com notification on your phone. Your panel will remain in a regular non-alarm state, which means you won't hear any panel sirens. Now that you understand how your water leak detector works, enjoy the peace of mind that your 2GIG security system brings. If you have any additional questions about your panel or your flood and temperature sensor, contact your installation professional.